In this lesson, we'll look at the Structure tab, specifically the Reinforcement panel within the Structure tab. So within this course, the majority of what we'll do will be focused around the Structural tab and the commands within the Structural tab. Let's go to the Structural tab now on your ribbon. Now the area that we want to focus on on the Structural tab is the Reinforcement area. And there's a variety of different commands for creating reinforcement elements and components within your Structural model. The first one is area. This allows you to sketch a boundary, and from within the boundary, we can populate rebar. To the left of area is the rebar command. This is where we can actually place our structural rebar within that predefined area. Below area is path. We can create a path to apply structural reinforcement, such as rebar. Below path is fabric area. This is where we can define a boundary or an area where we can populate with fabric sheets. To the right of these commands, one is fabric sheet. This basically allows us to place a fabric sheet on a surface, such as a floor, a wall, or a foundation slab. Below that is rebar cover. This allows us to edit the rebar cover references of the entire rebar host or an individual element or face. Now below these commands is the actual panel name reinforcement, and there's a drop down arrow. If you click the drop down arrow, below are listed settings for our reinforcements. The first one is the rebar cover settings. If I click on that, that'll display a new window, allowing me to add, remove, or modify any of the current rebar cover settings. You can see there's a variety here already listed with various values and settings of coverage area. Click Cancel. Click the Reinforcement drop-down again. Second option down is Reinforcement Settings. Here we have different categories or areas of settings for a reinforcement. General is the first area, allowing us to check or uncheck various general settings. Second one down is Reinforcement Rounding, if we need to round up bar lengths or segments. The option below that is our Reinforced Presentation. What do we want to show within the view? The first, the last, the middle, or show everything when it comes to rebar. Area reinforcement settings are below this. This is where we can set our various settings for the area and the values assigned to each. The last option is the path reinforcement. Here we have a variety of settings listed and the values to each of the settings. Click Cancel. And the last option is reinforcement numbers basically allowing us to define these digits or numbers that we're going to use for a minimum value within our reinforcement layouts. Right now, there's only one. Click Cancel. So as a review, in this lesson, we looked at the elements and commands and settings on the reinforcement panel of the Structure tab. We talked about rebar and defining an area or a path to place our rebar. We talked about fabric sheets and defining a fabric area to cover or modifying a cover or rebar that's placed within our structural element. We also looked at the variety of settings for reinforcement and rebar and how we want this displayed within our Revit structural model.